dead team is heading to Blood Cemetery to see if the horrific rumors about Dr. Blood hold any truth. Is it true that Dr. Blood's decapitated wife roams these hollow grounds? Damn this jerky right here. Camera's acting funky. This area here, it's getting jumpy like there's EMF interference. I don't know if you can see it, it's jerking. Shiawassee County and Clinton County sit very near to one another. Langsburg, Michigan is divided into both of these counties, with Victor Township, part of the Langsburg community, hosting the infamous Blood Cemetery, which was once the property of the Blood family. The Looking Glass River divides the northern and southern hemispheres of the area, with Scioto Township being the name used back in the 1800s to pinpoint the location of the city of Langsburg and its surrounding areas. It is here in Victor Township that we will focus our search. This plat map from the 1800s serves as a historical marker for those who own land in this area. The Blood family composed of many settlers from differing parts of the United States, resided on the northwest corner of the area. Both Susan and Charles Blood had properties here, with Susan's property being restored and habitable, and Charles' property turned into the now infamous Blood Cemetery. Welcome to Blood Cemetery in Victor Township, Michigan. It is Devil's Night, October 30th, 2023, and the dead team is here to try and ascertain whether or not Dr. Blood's murderous vengeance upon his wife still runs rampant here in this cemetery. Won't you join us? From extensive research about the Bloods, Reverend Daniel H. Blood, born in 1810, appears to be the first documented family member to have settled in the area. Daniel died March 2nd, 1883, leaving behind a large family, including one Charles W. Blood, whose property the cemetery now lies upon. As we head towards our location, very near Lake Victoria, renamed from what was once called Blood Lake, we are also aware of the state park and airport nearby, possible hunting grounds for Bigfoot and UAPs. Many members of the Blood family are buried at Blood Cemetery, finding their final bodily rest in Victor Township. But, are they really resting? Or, as the legends say, are there disembodied spirits floating around while the dog man comes into the cemetery with its glowing red eyes, running you off the grounds? Or is it something entirely different? As Denise takes still shots of the grounds, hoping to find some sort of evidence, I run a quick scan of the entire property with the camera. Earlier that day, while running video, I noticed certain areas that would cause EMF interference within the video.
the video screen indicates that something is causing it to capture data in broken sequences. We are careful to maintain the dignity of those buried here, and we are grateful to the men and women who served our country and found their final resting place here. Camera's jerky right here. We are here only to determine if all of the local legends and rumors are true. Does Dr. Blood roam these grounds? Camera's acting funky. This area here, it's getting jumpy like there's EMF interference. I don't know if you can see it, it's jerking. It's like my field of vision on my screen is jerking. I don't know whether it's electronic or paranormal. Many of the blood family is buried here as evidenced on this tombstone. We aren't certain who Dr. Blood is, as all records found of the family do not include anyone listed as a doctor, although there is a George W. Blood listed in the records. He was the only married blood man whose wife preceded him in death. It's got to be getting close to 7 o'clock. It's freezing cold out here. We're in Blood Cemetery. Many others were laid to rest here as well. Who or what is roaming the Blood Cemetery? Something jerky right there. Right when I go over here and pan by this place right here, camera starts getting really jerky. Watch the screen here. Watch this. See a jerk? See it? It's like it's not displaying normal. See a jerk? I have ran camera for over a decade and I have never experienced interference like this before. Is it the camera failing to capture light quickly enough? Or is there something unseen interfering with the camera? That's something there. That's, that's electromagnetic interference. And then, uh, I just started these when the battery's already two-thirds dead, so I mean, Really? Yeah. Well, every time you go out and hunt, a lot of times the spirits will suck your batteries dry. Yeah. Hangman's News, we're hoping to emulate when the Dr. Blood hung himself after killing his wife. We're going to run audio recorders, see if we capture any EVPs. 
my spirit box over here. Go ahead. EVP session one, October 30th, 2023, Devil's Night. Oh, shoot, Eric. I'm sorry, buddy. Can you go back to the vehicle again? On top of the silver case, it's a little round black seat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're going to set the audio recorder here under the rubble. Said that uh, Dr. Blood actually shot his wife with a shotgun, dismembered her body, and then uh, put her in a pine coffin, and then took off to evade the law. So the rumor goes. We kind of think from research that the house used to sit over there is called the Blood Mansion. And supposedly, at some point, the good doctor came back and was squatting in his own mansion without any power. And some teenagers thought it was empty, went in there to explore. One of them did and never came back out. The other group of teenagers went into the cop shop and then told the cops what happened. The cops came back over here and the mansion was on fire. It was ablaze, according to legend. Once the fire subsided, they went in and looked for the guy, the kid, the teenager, they found him bound and gagged and dead with a shotgun next to his body and a bloody axe that they assumed that the doctor had used to kill his wife with. Upon leaving the burning rubble, they went to the backyard and found a pine coffin with the wife's body in it, dressed in a red dress, but she was dismembered. Her head, her arms, and her legs were detached from her torso. And now people say they see that very apparition come at them here in the Blood Cemetery when they come to investigate. So maybe we'll capture that. And I'm not sure if there's any spirits here, and uh, we're not going to directly talk and ask questions to anything, but we can talk to each other and then see what happens. <laughs> Get over here in the camera, guys. I'm right, looking for anything that's legible. Okay. Christian. Is there a Christian? I heard Christian. Notice how the noose is slightly yeah. moving, yeah. although none of the trees or leaves are moving. Maybe something doesn't want here. Yeah. 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 I wonder how many of them are here. Threefold. 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 That's nine. Makes you wonder if Dr. Blood around here. The spirits feel they have a right to be here as the cemetery is open to the public. They are most likely concerned about being exercised out and sent to hell. Doctor. I wonder if Dr. Blood is here if he would make that new move for us. 
a construction manner where we can call it looking to win, you know? Loser, you got that? The spirits are telling us to leave. Are they warning us that Dr. Blood is coming? Did the spirits just verify the story of the teenage boy meeting his death at the hands of Dr. Blood? Were the spirits here, witnessing the events that took place that fateful night, when Dr. Blood set his own house ablaze and then hanged himself from this very tree? Listen again. Was the devil himself involved in this heinous series of crimes? Nice job. Yep. Oh. It's going to be a short night, brother. Oh, okay. uh, pretty lame. I'm going to do jump over there. Oh, okay. Here's four. Let's go over here by the swim pool. I mean, it's Devil's Night, it's my birthday, kind of open, you know. 
something when it comes to your convincing. Right. Oh, nice yarn. Yep. Give me a short note, brother. They're even dying on us. How come it didn't jump over there? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get over here by the tombstone. <laughs> I just kick something that's not there anymore. I'm gonna hold it or you want me to set it down? It appears as though we have been warned that the devil is coming for us. Maybe all the ghosts here are afraid of us. Okay, you hear that? Right behind you, you hear that? Right behind you, you not hear that? What? Maybe all the ghosts here are afraid of us. Maybe all the ghosts here are afraid of us. As a spirit warns us that the doctor is coming. I hear movement like footsteps disturbing the leaves behind me. What was that? Did you hear that? Right behind me. Did you hear that? Leaves. Right behind me. Did you not hear that? What? What? I'm not moving. Maybe all the ghosts here are afraid of us. Could this be the infamous killer, Dr. Blood? Or is it something even more sinister? You think the room of the tree guy thinks the blood floats around here in the cemetery at night? So far it appears not to be. I wonder if they don't like it here. Of all the rumors about this cemetery, that's pretty bad. All these bunches of folklore. You think the rumors are true, guys? You think the blood floats around here in the cemetery at night? Yeah, yeah, so far. Here's my thing. Yeah, I don't see much of anything happening here. That was weird. See those trees over there with the lights? Yeah. They were all moving by themselves and something else was moving over there. High up. That's over the top of that piece of All the rumors about this cemetery are not true, but I have it. Nothing to the right or left of it. Moving in the step forward. All the new bunches, full floor, outside. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you. Yeah. I mean, it was weird because to the right of the trees on the first trees, the trees were moving. The edge kind of just walked through there. That was weird. See those trees over there with the light? Yeah. They were all moving by themselves and nothing else was moving over there. High up, like over the top of that tree stone. Oh, tree stone. Here, see them they're moving again? Yeah. But nothing to the right or left of them is moving, is it? No. Just those. Now it's the top.
I mean, it was weird because it was to the right of the two that's on the first and three. The rims were moving big and it was just a lot of And then it moved a little higher and it was just gone up. Maybe they think we're going to try and ask God to come in here and kick them out. I mean, honestly, don't start real, right? See, Jackie says that, you know, once you're dead, the dead can no longer praise, they can no longer work, they can no longer worship, they're down to the grave. So when things are rolling around, you're talking to ghost box, it makes you wonder what exactly that is. Well, I have a pretty good idea what that is. Oh, yeah, me too. What's that again? As we make our way back to base camp in order to charge our equipment, we are left with one last sentence from the spirits. We head to the vehicles to grab another camera and perform a final sweep of the cemetery. Although we are disappointed to have not captured any picture evidence, we are very much aware that the EVPs we captured tell the true story. The story behind what spirits really haunt the haunted blood cemetery. I'm recording everything right now. It's, it's live. So let's walk straight across to get the equipment over there and then we'll hang the right. We'll just come around the whole entire cemetery. In the meantime, we'll start seeing if we can't see anything. It's got a light on it. Oh, yeah. So we definitely captured EVPs, didn't we guys? I mean, a ton of them, right? You heard them, didn't you, Eric? What'd they say? Three, three fold, three, three, three fold. Like there's just three of them. Are you gonna be able to pull that down? Let's sit here for just a second. 
It's pretty still out. If that were to move on its own right now, it might make you wonder, right? It'd be pretty impressive. It would be very impressive. I just don't think anything wants to cooperate. Yeah, follow my, follow my phone. That's good. I'm wondering if this is where Dr. Blood killed himself. This tree looks like it's about the only one around here. It's at least 100 years old, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's massive. Oh, did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. No, over here in the woods. Something's walking over there. Animal or something. Yeah, follow my, follow my phone. That's good. Can you shine further up? Yeah, like that. There you go. Gosh, you really got to wonder if there's anything in this cemetery worth even coming here for, you know? I don't see anything. The noose is a reminder of the devastation that the people come to prior to leaving this earth. All this talk about Dr. Blood and uh, Scary Blood Cemetery. Over here. Yep, I felt like there might be something over there. Can you grab that noose and then I'll grab the audio recorder? I'm gonna leave the audio recorder running. Alright, well, let's take a walk this way over where we think the mansion used to be. Atmosphere. Her frog. Nothing spooky in here. Quite overrated, apparently. I, mean, I envisioned us like sitting over here on the ground, you know, somewhere in between the tombstones and running audio. That's a pretty big dream, I don't think it's over here. I don't think so either, nor this one. And this is Charles W.'s Blood's property. Yep, not much going on here. Just a nice, peaceful, quiet cemetery. Unless you turn on the spirit box, of course. And then they don't mind talking to you. Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed this scary episode of the Dead Team. And, uh, we really caught some crazy evidence tonight, all sorts of EVPs, weird things. So until next time, stay creepy, stay haunted, and we'll talk to you.